We are super low. That's the wrong way. Navigation mode cycle. Okay, so I'm going to put that on here. Cockpit lights, landing gear, air brake, landing flaps, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the only one I have to add is navigation mode cycle. FMD1, add a combo, middle button. Okay. Past two lessons, we learned the basics of navigation and landing under ideal conditions. In this lesson, we're going to put what you learned to the test by finding an airfield and landing on it at night during a thunderstorm. Sounds fun, huh? Huh? Let's turn on the cockpit lighting by pressing L. Cockpit lighting's already on me, old China. We're currently in route mode, but we have no airfield at the final route destination. So let's select return mode by pressing 1. Using what you learned about course steering through the HUD and ADI, fly the assigned return course that will lead you to the ILS intercept for Beslan Airfield. As you start to descend, you'll probably pick up a lot of speed. Don't forget that you can deploy the air brakes by pressing B. It's even more sensitive today. Okay, we're bang on course. Record that. So although he didn't say it, I've got engines to idle. Oh, lost it there slightly. Air brakes on, we're doing 600 at the moment, that's way too fast. Cinematic cams. see precisely nothing at all. I'm not sure our air brakes deployed there. Maybe that's air brakes. Gotta get below 400. Record that. Flaps down, gear down. As we get closer to the airfield, I should also mention that not all airfields have Russian ILS as we had in the last lesson. Airfields that do include Mozdok, Krimsk, Maikop, and Krasnodar Center. Being that Beslan does not have this, you will not have the HUD ILS indications. However, if you look down at your HSI, you will notice a dashed cross in the center in both solid vertical and horizontal lines. The dash lines are fixed and represent the optimal glide slope and localizer positions with the solid lines. Press the space bar to continue. If the glide slope bar is below the dash line, you are above glide slope. 
If it is above the dash line, you are under glide slope. If the localizer line is left to center, you need to fly to the left. If the localizer is to the right of center, you need to fly to the right. You always fly to the needle. As you pass over the inner marker beacon, you may have noticed a little bit of crosswind from south to north. To counter this, input a little left rudder by pressing Z and add a little right bank to keep your nose tracking down the runway. Why did it just suddenly jump all the way over there? Oh. Mission failure. Press escape and end the So close to it. Why did it just suddenly jump left? That I guess it's the rudder and the uh, slight bank to the right must have thrown me off. Can't genuinely cannot see a bloody thing. Flying completely blind. Throttle is completely at idle, and yet we're still doing 500. As we get closer to the airfield, I should also mention that not all airfields have Russian ILS, as we had in the last lesson. Airfields that do include Mozdok, Krimsk, Mykop, and Krasnodar Center. Being that Bezalon does not have this, you will not have the HUD ILS indications. However, if you look down at your HSI, you will notice a dashed cross in the center in both solid vertical and horizontal lines. The dash lines are fixed and represent the optimal glide slope and localizer positions with the solid lines. Press the spacebar to continue. We're going to stall. Cannot slow this thing down. We are super low. That's the runway. We have no landing gear. I couldn't get down to 400. Oh my god. Yeah, well I've attempted to deploy the air brakes. There's no way of knowing if they're deployed. I, I don't know what what indicator would indicate that they were deployed or not. Look at that, 680, 690. If I press the button again, 710, 720, it doesn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. Throttles are idle. And I have no idea if it's active or not. If the glide slope bar is below the dash line, you are above glide slope. If it is above the dash line, you are under glide slope. 
If the localizer line is left to center, you need to fly to the left. If the localizer is to the right of center, you need to fly to the right. You always fly to the needle. Return. That's where we want to be. As you pass over the inner marker beacon, you may have noticed a little bit of crosswind from south to north. To counter this, input a little left rudder by pressing Z and add a little right bank to keep your nose tracking down the runway. Wow. That's incredible. I couldn't see anything right up till the very, very last second. I can't steer. Oh, how do I how do I turn on the steering? I was going to say I failed. Oh no! For some reason, I got like no you got steering. Her down. But the ground crew is not going to be happy if the work is made for them. You can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key. Yeah, well, the last few attempts were even worse. What the hell is the button? There's so many buttons to try and remember. Which button is it? to control the front wheel because I had no steering at all. Oh, I just cannot remember. Well, it would seem, ladies and gentlemen, that um, my Logitech thing crashed. Which is why... Oh, what the hell? All of my settings have gone. Oh, because it says it's in mode 1. Mode 2. Oh, there we go. So that's what it was, guys. My um, my Logitech X56 um, programming background software application shut down, which meant that when I was pressing... Uh, oh, that's for nose wheel steering. That is for the air brake. I thought it was. So when I was pressing for the air brake, nothing was happening. And that's the reason why, is because that had shut down. That's terrible. Logitech is so bad a company. They used to be so good. Well, I say that. They made good wheels. This is terrible. And they never do anything to fix it either. So that explains it. That's why I couldn't slow the aircraft down. I might have another go at that, actually. Um, now that that's running. But I guess we're going to have to keep that in visual sight at all times to make sure it doesn't close on us. Let's that profile.